What's up guys, it's Dylan here from SoulCamp.com. I'm here at Exit 36 in the Americana of Manhattan, and I'm here to bring you all a review of the soon to be released Pewter Air Foam Positive One. So the Pewter Foam Positive Ones were first revealed to be coming out back in like spring 2010. And then rapper Wale, who debuted the Copper Foam Positive Ones as well as the Neon Air Max 24-7s, debuted these at a concert in yeah, in August. And then detailed pictures were revealed of the shoes all the way back in October. So since then, with more pictures, more foam positive releases, hype has just been building on these. So here is the metallic pewter air foam positive one. And let's get into the review. Alright, so first of all, like all other foam posits, these have a mesh tongue. Now this mesh on the tongue is lighter, kind of like the 2011 Royal Foams, and it actually works really well with the metallic pewter shade that goes along the whole shoe in this foam positive material. But anyways, getting on with the review, you have, so you have the mesh tongue, along with this metallic pewter accent running all throughout, and the Penny Hardaway logo. You also got the metallic pewter swoosh right there, and the eye stay is made all nubuck. Then going towards the back of the shoe, you have the pull tab over here in the metallic pewter accents, along with this Penny Hardaway logo once again. And then all along the entire upper is this metallic pewter foam posit material. Now getting towards the inside of the shoe, like once again, this mesh from the tongue, it's kind of like one whole build with the lining. And then you also have some more mesh lining over here. And over here. Now getting to the outsole of the shoe, probably one of the most appealing parts of foam posits. First of all, you have the carbon fiber plate that is over here too. Then you have this imprint along with the Penny Hardaway logo. And then you have just a tra tinted translucent outsole running all along the outer part. And that is the Pewter Air Foam Posit 1. So one of the main issues with foam posit releases is the exact shine of the upper, like if it's more of a glow, like the 2010 eggplant foam posits, or if it's more of a shine, like the 09 eggplants. And then also, with this pair in particular, people have been wondering about the exact color of the upper. Like some pictures make this pewter upper seem more so like a silver, and yet other pictures make it seem like it has a copper tint to it. So I'm going to solve this problem now. Alright, so first I'm going to compare these pewter foams to these metallic silver half sets that they still have here at X36. There are two pairs left, so get on that. So, yeah, I think the deal with this, the metallic silver is a lighter color than the metallic pewter for sure. Yeah. Then, moving on, I also brought my copper air foam posit ones with me, so let's get on that. Bam, two foam posit ones. I mean, in real life, the two shades, the copper and the metallic pewter, don't seem similar at all. But some pictures make it look similar. Maybe it's just the flash of the camera. That's a possibility. There you have it, two foam posits. So once again, these are the metallic pewter air foam posit ones releasing here at exit 36 this Saturday, March 19th. Now also here at exit 36, they have some hot new Jordans. They have the playoff 13s. They have only five pairs left, left in these, so get on that. And they also have these new Comfort Vizier 11s and Vizier 12s, so get on those too. And that's the review, so be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to Soul Camp on YouTube, X Soul X Camp X. Also, check out exit36.wordpress.com for the newest releases here at Exit 36, where they got the hottest kicks ever. And once again, I'm Dylan from SoulCamp.com, and I'm out.